In this video, we're going to cover how to reset AccuVox devices to factory settings on both the device and via the device's web interface. If you're working with AccuVox or planning to do so, it's crucial that you collaborate with Global Visions INC. If you are a property manager, we will help ensure that you're working with a genuine, certified installer. If you are an installer or looking to become a certified installer, we will ensure that you are purchasing through an authorized distributor who provides the best technical support to ensure your success. To get started, the first step is to reset the devices directly on their settings screen. For Android door phones, we will be using X915 as an example. Tap dial and type in the code 9999 and 3888 to enter the settings page. Select Reboot and tap Confirm. The system will restart immediately. For Linux door phones, we will be using X912 as an example. Tap, dial, and type in the code 2396 to enter the system settings page. Navigate to the Advanced Settings tab, then select Restore. Please note that for the R27 and R28, you need to enter asterisk 2396 hashtag. For E16 and E18, press and hold the top area of the touch screen for 10 seconds which will redirect you to a password required screen. Enter the default password, which is admin. Then, select Advanced Reset. For indoor monitors, we will be using the ID83 as an example. To enter the Advanced Settings screen, tap More Settings. Then enter the default password, which is 123456. Select Reset and then select Confirm to reset the device. The second method is to use the device's web interface. All devices can be reset to factory settings via the web interface. Open a web browser and enter the device's IP address. Here, log in by using the default username and password, which are both admin. Under the Upgrade tab, navigate to the basic upgrade, locate Reset to factory setting, then select Submit to restore the device. The third method is to reset by hardware. For devices with a physical reset button, press and hold the button for about 5 seconds. For devices with a reset hole, poke and hold the button with a needle for about 5 seconds. The fourth method is to reset by short-circuiting, input, and GND ports. Devices include the R20 series, 2-wire R20 series, E12, R27, and R28. Please note to turn off power supply before connecting the device ports. For this example, we will use the 2-wire R20. First, connect input A and GND ports. After connecting, power on the device and then press and hold the dial button until the LED light is illuminated. After a few seconds, the device will successfully reset. For R20 devices with multiple buttons, refer to the diagram to indicate the correct dial button for each. If you have any questions about AccuVox, please contact us at globalvisionsinc.com.